What's up, YouTube? Erod212 here with another video. So I went to a local show this weekend, and this is why I love these shows the best. Alright, so uh, past weekend, went to my local show and uh, on a Saturday morning, bright and early, and it never disappoints. So when you go to a lot of shows, you start to realize there's a pattern. You're going to run into uh, different types of vendors. So you've got the one vendor who's severely overpriced and expects to mark his books down to still above the GPA on the book and, and make a, a big profit. That worked during covid it's really not working now then you have the other guy who's fairly um priced and he's a very accurate creator but he doesn't move much on his books um i like to buy from some of those guys especially when they're real accurate creators because you get some great grades and most of the time these guys grade so tight that the book can get a bump up so even though you're paying price on it let's say a 9.2 that book has the ability to possibly go up to a 9.4 or 9.6 and, and it's a win-win. It's a gamble, but for bigger books, I like buying books like that. And then you have the guys who are continuously buying volume. And these guys are great to buy from also because they're willing to cut you deals. And the more you buy, the better deal you're going to get. So I get all three types at my shows, but for the most part, I get the accurate graders and the guys who buy a lot of collections and are willing to give you deals. And if you're into collecting runs or you're into buying the big rent books, deals is what you're looking for. And be it to flip, be it for your own PC, whatever, to fund a bigger book, that's what we're all looking for. So these are the guys you wanna see. I find that these big shows, because they pay such a big premium on their tables, that they're unable to do that. You know, when you're paying $2,400 for a weekend at a table at a big show, uh, you've got a big nut to cover so you got to sell a lot of books just to cover your your, your your table so not not as willing to you know give the, the better deals whereas smaller show let's say he's paying a hundred dollars for a table um he could give you a better deal let me show you what i'm talking about though like i i picked this up right now this book was super hot for a while it's that um Jajervic cover right there for uh one more day uh just a great 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 mephisto cover and I picked up a really nice uh, copy of uh, Submariner number 38. It, it's probably like in a 4550. It's a nice, nice copy. And this is, retells the origin of the Submariner. So a nice book to get. A uh, book that's gotten super hot. If you're not picking it up, pick this up. A-Force number one, first appearance of Singularity. Uh, great women, uh, women of Marvel cover right there. You know, all the, all the heroines right there. Um, I picked up two copies of that because it was very affordable. And then I picked up these two from the same vendor. This is what I'm talking about, bundling a deal. Uh, I picked up the 1 in 25 Stephanie Hans, and that is Singularity on the cover. So that's our first cover appearance. This book has gotten super, super hot. And then I picked this up, which is a scorcher. Uh, Riri is coming. I think if they can do with Riri what they did with Kamala, it's a wrap. It's going to be really good. Uh, we shall see, though. Invincible Iron Man number one, and this is the Jeff Deckel one in 25. Uh, probably like a 9 6. This book here, really, really nice copy, though. This book goes for some money um, if you can get it high in a 9 8. But um, I, 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 you know, I had no expectations for Miss Marvel. I was excited to see it, watch it, and I came out and thought it was one of the best, if not the best so far in the series. Probably Hawkeye for me is number one. But this was close number two. It was just really, really fresh take. I liked the way they did it. And I liked all the naysayers that were sitting there bashing it for being a kiddie show, now enjoying it. This is why we give them a chance. Give everything a chance and then we make our decisions. Uh, pick this up right there, really nice. Jeff Steranko, uh, Sergeant Fury, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number three. I mean, some Steranko goodness right there. X-Men number 90, uh, one of the reprints, but this is a high grade. Uh, looking at it right here, it's at least an 8.5. If it wasn't for that little corner right there, this is 9.0 plus probably. Um, and Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number six, love that Steranko, man. I mean, just, this is just perfect 
for a Steranko signature. Uh, Sensational She-Hulk, the John Byrne run, issue number one, but a newsstand edition. So if you can get newsstands on this, I would take them. Uh, another book, and shout out to my man Joker M21 for put me up on this one. Uh, Champions number one. This is, I believe, the one in 25, Mark Brooks. Nice, nice book. Champions is another good team to spec on right now. A lot of the young characters all go to the Champions. And there's a whole story arc there where Miles, Kamala, and Sam Alexander become part of the Avengers. And then because of the way the Avengers handle themselves old school in the politics, they quit the Avengers. Uh, there's that iconic Champions Outlawed cover where uh, they're all burning their Avengers card and they form the Champions. So, uh, never know. Captain Marvel number 26, and that's um, early Thanos appearance right there. And first death, I think it is. Early death. Um, everybody knows this, but this is uh, first Ben Riley, the clone. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number 149. And a book that I take any chance if I get it in good grade. This is a really nice one. This is the Miracle number one. I feel that if. Uh, the way the Snyderverse happened and if they go through and they do everything with Darkseid and the boom tubes and everything Mr. Miracle has to come uh, so he's got a great supporting cast with Big Water, Granny Goodness and all of that um, First Ventriloquist Detective Comics number 583 yeah 583 know the covers don't know the numbers sometimes but I definitely know First Ventriloquist um, early black costume Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, number 90, new stand edition again. Here's a really nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man, number 71. Great quick silver cover, John Romita, senior goodness right there. Talk about Mr. Miracle, right there. First appearance of Granny Goodness, Mr. Miracle, number two. So you see, I mean, these books, I was bundling up and getting good deals. What I think are very good deals. Um, Enough that I, I would buy all of these books, you know. Uh, Captain Marvel number 16. And this is the first cameo appearance of Philo Vell. Great book to have. Philo Vell is coming. You watch. I had gotten rid of a copy of this. And I just picked up a much higher grade copy of uh, Invaders number one annual. And this is the last cover that Alex Schomburg, the great Golden Age artist, uh, I believe, draws. That's what I was being told recently. Fantastic Schomburg cover though. Uh, Sandman is coming, so Sandman number nine, if you can find these keys at a low price. I did something with the back nine on that. Check that out, because there's some really nice Sandman books that are still super affordable. Um, super affordable, Daredevil 156. This Bronze Age Daredevil stuff is flying off the shelves, man. Everybody's anticipating Daredevil original costume versus the uh, current. Daredevil 154, great art. Invaders number 60, 16, first appearance of Master Man. Uh, iconic, I believe it's a Bob Layton cover, but uh, Invincible Iron Man number 71. That's just classic right there. Whew. Believe it's Layton, but if I am wrong, somebody let me know. New stand, Amazing Spider-Man number 257. This is, I believe, first Ned Lee does Hobgoblin, right? Um, but a new stand edition, really nice. And then uh, last books I picked up from Zap Comics. They's always got killer books. Um, Iron Man, what number is this? 97, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Tales of Suspense 97, first appearance of Whiplash. Uh, I was not a fan of Iron Man 2, but Whiplash is always one of Iron Man's better foes. Uh, X-Men number 107, first appearance of Corsair. And I believe the Shi'ar are of also first appearance. There you go. Need to have this book, guys. Uncanny X-Men number 120. This is the first appearance of Alpha Flight. Um, another book that I, I spec on quite a bit. Tough book to get in high grade. Um... This is a mid-grader with the potential to go a little higher. And then, watch this. Okay. X-Men number 16. 
very nice copy probably 560 really nice um this is all at a small show for deals um this is what i'm talking about uh check out your small shows support your local vendors they'll give you better deals than sometimes going to these big shows spending 40 dollars at the entrance um, I find it more for pop, pop culture stuff than to buy bigger books or better books um, Just because you can't get deals and, and good for digging in the two dollar bins and stuff like that But if you want to hit real good shows check out these shows because these are the ones to go to matter of fact this weekend There's a dollar sale out in Long Island and I know uh, Calm Comics and Streetside Anthony are setting up there I don't know if Kyle's Comics is setting up there, but I think there's like nine to ten vendors blowing out dollar books so Head on over there, check it out, because it should be a good time. Um, link in the description to my WhatNot channel. I'm probably gonna do a pop-up sale one of these days, and one of the next two days or so on WhatNot, so stay tuned for that. There's a link in the description. Uh, use the link, and if you haven't uh, bought anything yet or subscribed, get $10 off your first purchase. So win-win for you guys there. And check out my other videos, because I believe there's always good content for you guys there. Let me know what you guys think of this video, and until my next one, 